Hello everyone, we are Sorted Food. Welcome to Fridge Cam. You have joined us midway through our celebration of Asian Flavours Week. Which got me thinking a while ago, I was made to wear a silly costume and do three KFC recipes. Information. Welcome to the aftertaste, and thanks to Sorted's cheap wardrobe budget, I'm dressed as the Colonel. And for that reason, I have the opportunity to teach you KFC as a recipe, but not the Kentucky stuff from three other places. Number one, our fried chicken from Kerala. Now, all of these are exactly the same. It's chicken thigh, skinless and boneless, marinated in buttermilk overnight. But for our Kerala flavour, we're going to put some turmeric in with the buttermilk. This will give a lovely colour and a super savoury flavour. Ideally, this chicken would want to be covered and refrigerated overnight, but at the very least, a few hours, because you want the buttermilk to start to break down the chicken. At which point, we're going to toss it in a flour mixture. That's plain flour, and for our Kerala flavours, we're going with desiccated coconut, mustard seeds, chilli powder, ground ginger, and curry leaves. Grind them all up, mix them all up, and season heavily with salt. And then to cook the chicken, you want to scoop out your chicken pieces, dunk them in flour, give them a nice even coating, and fry them for about four or five minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. That way they'll go crispy on the outside, but cook the chicken thigh all the way through. Drain your crispy chicken on kitchen roll to get rid of excess grease, and then stack it high and garnish with fresh coriander and coconut flakes. There we go, Carolyn fried chicken, KFC. Our second KFC recipe is from Kuala Lumpur, so it's got Malaysian flavours. Exactly the same method as before, but instead of turmeric in our buttermilk, I'm adding lemongrass paste. Again, let it rest overnight. For the sake of showing you we're not waiting overnight, we're skipping straight on and dredging it in our flour mix. This time, the flour mix has a peanut crumb, ginger, chilli, kaffir lime and a bit of salt. And just as before, five minutes, 170 degrees Celsius in the deep fat fryer. And there we go, with the peanut, the ginger, the chilli and the lime, it's got that almost satay Malaysian flavour. It's Kuala Lumpur fried chicken, KFC. And our third KFC recipe is from Kyoto in Japan. And for that reason, exactly the same method, but we're adding some wasabi into our buttermilk overnight. Again, we're gonna move straight on and we're gonna dust and coat it in our flour mixture. This time, flavours from Japan. It's like a natural MSG made from white pepper, garlic powder and salt, and then sesame seeds and dried seaweed. Mix it all up, coat the chicken, and give it a fry. Once the coating and the seeds gone golden, the chicken is cooked through, garnish it with some black sesame seeds, and there is your Kyoto fried chicken, KFC sorted. And there we go, three KFC recipes for you to try. And as you can imagine, you can mix it up and make your own. Just take flavours from any country you want, whether it begins with K or not. There's 14 herbs and spices here, but it's not a secret. You can get them at sortedfood.com. And while you're there, you can also check out Kentucky Fried Chicken and Korean. Now, the Colonel keeps his secret blend of spices exactly that, a secret. secret. We don't know. We're going to link down below. You can find them over on Sorted Food, all of the caves. Yes, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And make sure you also join us on Sunday, where we have the resolve of who has won the Brownie Board League table. It's going to be close. Join us then. So close. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.